Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be what's in my hospital bag as well as what's in baby's diaper bag. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Before I get into the video, I am currently 39 weeks and a couple of days pregnant. I'm hoping to have the baby sometime uh, before Friday because if he doesn't come before Friday, then I do have a scheduled C-section. So I'm really trying to have him before then, but we'll see what happens. Um, I had a doctor's appointment last week and I wasn't induced. So, I mean, I wasn't induced. I wasn't um, dilated. So um, we'll see what happens, but whatever. Let's get into the video. So this is my diaper bag for the baby. It's a backpack. And I honestly, first of all, also let me just tell you guys, I'm sorry for my voice. I am under the weather. So I'm also trying to shake off my cold as well. But anyways, um, I got this diaper bag for my baby shower. I do not know how to pronounce the name, but I will read the name. I'll try to zoom in so you can see the name. You probably can't. But I'll leave the information if I can find it in my description below. Um, this is the bag that I wanted for this baby, so I'm super excited that we got it. And yeah, let's get into the video. So this diaper bag, one of the things that I love about it is it has several different compartments. If you look at the front, it has this compartment. It has a zipper right here, a zipper here. So in this first part, <clears throat> I don't really have anything other than a pacifier clip, an additional pacifier clip in the first pocket. Just to also let you guys know, I have this diaper bag prepared not just for when we're in the hospital, but for when we're out and about as well. I also have this part here, and I just have a brush for his hair a comb and little nail clippers because everybody knows baby's nails um, tend to be long when they're born. Sit. <clears throat> okay, so my mind says hi. Let's get this. Then it has like this little secret compartment here. And in this compartment, I've had receiving blanket and some burp cloths we have another burp cloth so that's what I have in that pocket I'm not gonna have anything else <coughs> I like to pack everything back, so you know, excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. Now can I mind doing the video? I also have this net. I used this net when I was pregnant with Jeremiah. I didn't realize that it has a little hole in it, but whatever. I used this net for his car seat um, when we would go to church and stuff because I really didn't want a lot of people like all over him. And also it's good to keep like insects and stuff like that away if you are outside. I also have this cute little cape for him. So I was thinking about some picture ideas. So we have this little Batman cape. I have this for Jeremiah for when he comes and sees him. It says Big Brother. So he should be excited to wear that. I was contemplating whether or not I wanted my husband to hold on to this because he's not going to be staying in the hospital with me um, and put it on Jeremiah when he comes. But then I was like, he'll probably forget. So I just decided to pack it with us. And as you can see on the inside of this bag, it's like this. In this compartment, I just have a pacifier and another pacifier hook. And then you can either put diapers, it looks like you can put diapers in here. So I might move the diapers that I have in the bag to these pockets. Now, um, with the pacifiers, we're not going to be using pacifiers um, unless I absolutely positively need to use them. I'm not a believer really in pacifiers like that. I have a long story about that. We'll get into that another time. But I prefer not to have the baby on pacifiers. 
<clears throat> Inside of the bag looks like this, and I have this another little just bread cloth, but I have this little hat for him, like a little scully. And I brought this with us because this is one of the scullies that Jeremiah wore when he first took a picture with my husband. So I want this baby to wear it as well for his first picture with his dad. Uh, for my baby shower, somebody gave us the swaddle. So I have this gray swaddle in the bag. I have just two onesies, two plain white onesies that are newborn size. When I did have my doctor's appointment last week, the baby was measuring six pounds, 12 ounces. So I think he will be fine fitting into newborn clothes. When he meets his brother, I have this onesie that says little brother. So when Jeremiah comes to the hospital to meet him, he'll be wearing this shirt. And I just have to pack um, a pair of pants to go with this. This is another little outfit for picture purposes. It's a, um, it has a little scully hat. I got this from Amazon with elephants on it. Tribute to my mom who loves elephants or who loved elephants. She's no longer with us. But anyways, I fell in love with this, and this is like a swaddle. So that's for pictures. I also have another little outfit for him for like the second day. This is the Scully. It has stars on it. I don't think you guys can really see it. It has little stars. And then it comes with a gown. And this is another outfit that Jeremiah wore when he was born. His grandmother brought it for him because we, I don't understand, I don't remember why we needed her to buy something else for him, but she brought it for him and it worked out great. I fell in love with it because it is a gown. It is easy access to change diapers. It's easy access for the nurse to, nurses to do what they need to do. And another cute thing that it comes with is the little, like, over the fingers um, mitten, if you will. So he'll be wearing that on his second day. And I also brought him... This is one of the first things I ever brought him when I found out that he was going to be a boy. I brought him just this plain sleeper. So this is something else he can wear while he's in the hospital. And it just is a zipper down sleeper. And then if you guys can see, the inside of the bag, it has pockets here for diapers. You can't really see it, but you can see it has pockets here. Two pockets here for diapers and two side pockets for diapers. So I did pack some new one diapers in there for him. And then also I have this last outfit, which will be his coming home outfit. And it's these pants. No, not right now. The shirt that says Hello World. And a little scully. This bag also has an inside pocket right here. And inside the pocket, I have some socks and some mittens so he doesn't scratch his face. So we have those. I also have his baby book. So that they can take his feet prints and everything in here. And we have the changing pad that goes with the diaper. On the sides it does have like a side pocket it looks like for a bottle. As well as another side pocket that I just stuck some wipes in for wipes. And then it also has another pocket here in the back for like a tablet or your cell phone or something like that so that's everything i did not pack crazy for the baby because he really is not going to need a lot of stuff his first night he'll probably just stay in the hospital gear um, that they provide and then i have the other clothes for him um, i do have also like some shampoo and stuff like that 
um, baby wash pads in the front pocket as well. I didn't go over that, but it's up here. So he's pretty much all set, and that's it. Go ahead, Jemma. I have a new car, and it's a monster truck. But only if you can see he has a new car. And it's a monster truck. And it's a monster truck. So and, it has, and it has fire to go fast. Mm -hmm. And tell the people, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming, watching, and comment down below. Comment down below. And good luck for your birthday. Well, good luck for everybody, anybody celebrating your birthday. See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.